Emergency rooms like this one are on high alert. Administrators here at Southwest Medical Center say they are prepared if an Ebola patient walks through the doors. James DeHaven, disaster specialist for Integris Hospitals, began devising a plan five weeks ago. When a patient with a suspected case of the Ebola virus walks in, the screening process begins. They will ask them, have you traveled outside the United States in 21 days? If the answer is yes, at that point they will be put into isolation. DeHaven says the hospital is currently equipped to handle five patients at a time, but could handle more if need be. We could actually take an entire floor and isolate them and each floor would hold about 30 patients. So we, we've prepared for that, we've practiced for it, we just hope it stays at one or two. State health officials are not worried about an outbreak. The Center for Disease Control, or CDC, has recommended protocol for hospitals. If the screening process determines the patient may have Ebola, that triggers other measures. These hazmat suits have to be worn by all hospital staff potentially coming into contact with the patient. Protecting them from being exposed to the virus. The staff covered head to toe will then assess the symptoms of the patient and consider other risk exposures, like direct contact with someone who is ill and had been in West Africa. And because the disease is transferred by bodily fluids, DeHaven says there are also steps to minimize the chances of the virus being spread. The chances of contracting the uh, virus is just almost zero. Maybe not zero, but pretty close to zero. At Southwest Medical Center, Lisa Monahan. News 9.